The Azure Reserve is not just about selling brands to its customers. It's about creating partnerships in the trade. And finally, we have a tool which is known as Business of Bars. And one of the modules in this program is called Speed and Efficiency. And what it does is it grades bartenders of what they do in their everyday lives. Why is speed and efficiency so important? Well, nobody wants to wait longer than two or three minutes for a drink in a bar. So this software has been developed carefully to actually tell a bartender why he is taking long to make a round of drinks. It's about setting the bar up in the most efficient manner so that the bar can produce drinks in the quickest possible way. We, we all look up to Alex, you know, when Alex, you know, gets to look at you and tell you that, you know, next time, you know, just try and look at that, try and fix that, you know. You, you get to be humble that, you know, you're getting, you know, good mentored from, you know, the industry giants. You mess up a customer's drinks. You have to redo all those drinks, which takes twice the amount of time. You can control the loss or gain for the company. If you're overpouring your spirits too much, you're going to lose your company a lot of money. We are looking first and foremost at accuracy of bartenders uh, to the mill. Literally, you know, if they're over a mill, under a mill, the scale will pick it up. You know, it's critical having a cocktail bar that the guys were pouring correctly, that their accuracy was right. I mean, if the guys are 15% out and we're dealing with a bar that has, let's say, 80% alcohol and 20% food, you can imagine that 15% of your turnover is going towards loss and wastage. I know that uh, Raymond is pretty, is pretty good at what he does and it's quite an honor to to be able to do this for him. Uh, I lost my bar spoon in the ice well because of, of just placement and things like that. So I would have just focused more on placing my bar and maybe practicing uh, to speak while I work. The great thing about this challenge is that every single bartender is going to make exactly the same drinks behind the same bar around the whole country. I'd never been able to do drinks and then got them weighed afterwards. So knowing to see the standards was really cool and teach us actually what it is to be a bartender and how to compete on an international level. Pouring to your correct levels will definitely make you a better bartender. It is something to work on and I think it's something all bartenders aspire to. It's to be able to pour accurately with every drink to make every cocktail consistent. Just putting everything like strategy, like do one thing first instead of doing little things of everything. You complete one thing and cross it off the list. Do the quickest thing and then build up so you can just tick the boxes like this. I would rather lost the, the points for going four minutes or five minutes over the time schedule as such, or extra minute over, and get the drinks 100% correct. So my accuracy was about 90%, but if you up that to 94, 95%, you're automatically getting yourself an extra 50 or 25 to 50 points. So rather lose that extra minute um, and the points for that extra minute and get the pause 100% correctly. Never has it been ever done before where bartenders that are working in bars every single day can stand up and say they're the best at what they do. There's no other competition that you know I would want to be associated with than world class. Diageo has you know done wonders for bartenders you know across the African continent. At the end of this challenge, not only are bartenders going to go through with a good result for world class, but they're going to have bragging rights. They're going to have that ability to say, "I am the fastest and most efficient bartender in South Africa." So good luck.